Hi, I'm Christian McElvain and we're here with Hannah Castigar, our, one of our All-Americans for our swim team on our next episode of Tracking Wolves. Thank you for coming on today. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, everybody knows that you obviously did some amazing things this year, winning two national championships uh, for swimming, but we kind of try and find new different ways to figure out who people are outside of their sport. So usually the first question we ask is, what is your major and you know some of your plans after Northern State? Uh, my major is human performance and fitness, and I ha I'm getting currently a minor in psychology and in coaching. Um, plans once I graduate, I mean, I want to train until the next Olympic trials. Um, so sticking on here to train for well, my third year here, and I'll still be running track then because uh, I won't have graduated yet. <laughs> and then, yeah, just still training. <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, uh, you you obviously did some amazing things in the pool this year that um, obviously haven't done been done at Northern State, which is uh, very exciting, obviously, for the swimming program. How has coming back from, what was it? It was Grand Canyon, right? It was where you at, coming back to your hometown to, you know, the – the hometown school in, in swimming for Northern State this year. I mean, it's it's awesome. I love being home, and I love being around my family, and a lot of my family lives here. Um, but it was even just like this year, it was just awesome being having it, my mom be able to coach me again. I mean, she's always been my best coach, and we have such a great relationship inside and outside of the pool, and I'm definitely going to miss her for next year, but I am very confident in the new coach that we hired, our GA, because she's – awesome and she's so passionate about the sport and and about coaching and so yeah I'm really excited for that and, and and one of those things with with swimming is obviously it's just kind of like wrestling is the fact that it's it is a team sport but it's also really individual mm -hmm. um, how, how do you kind of balance doing a sport that requires you to be with your teammates but also kind of get in your own zone and do your own thing when when you get in the lane and and you know and start your you know your competition well i think just like the team aspect is amazing having those people to train with every day and push you every day and keep you accountable for your goals like when you're doing an individual race they can tell if you're not racing hard they're there to keep you accountable and they're to push you and like cheer you on to go faster and and it makes the sport so much more fun and then you can have in your mind the goal to place higher in an individual event in order to get your team more points. And I mean, relays are <laughs> like the best part. At nationals when we went, I, my favorite part was the relay. It was just so much fun, like better than winning a national championship because I, it was just an amazing experience. Now, I mean, being, being here at Northern State, obviously South Dakota isn't really well known for swimming as a whole <laughs> state. Um, but how how have you found time just growing up here to find the time to you know to go to swimming? Is it something that you have to travel long distances for, or you just hop in the pool anywhere and just decide you know I'm gonna do a couple laps today? Or how how does that work for you know being from such a small place? I mean, I, swimming has always been a part of my life from like as I far back as I can remember. Um, just. Swimming every day, I mean, breaks on the weekends, but in the summer, twice a day. And it's just always been there, just like as much as, like, I mean, I eat three times a day and I swim twice a day. I mean, it's just routine, and I love it. I love every second of it. I love training, I love racing, and I love just being with my teammates. And, um, I mean, sometimes, like, usually when you're younger, it's all within the state, and then, as I got older, had to travel a little bit further and a little bit further, and then soon was going to like California and to Florida for different meets, and 
and just like now I've been <laughs> all around the United States and I like I mean it's hard to even comprehend how far I've come so I mean that's that's something that's pretty amazing is the fact that swimming has allowed you to you know experience a lot of stuff at growing up I mean going from you know different places and you know seeing different states and stuff like that that's that's an experience that's pretty amazing I mean how, how has that shaped you as like the person that you are today is that something that you know has has changed who you are or is it really kind of grounded you in the fact that you've come back to Aberdeen and you know this is really the place that you want to be I mean I don't think it's changed who I am but it is like part of who I am I mean um I I there's I mean as swimming is swimming no matter where you're at I mean you could be at the best school in the nation or South Dakota where it's not like known for swimming and um, it's, it's all for like the love of the sport and I mean I think be, being able to go travel different places like that was made so much more special by like always having my mom be my coach there with me because <laughs> we had so many fun experiences like just traveling different places and walking back and forth to the pool and we missed our flight once and <laughs> And it was it was a lot of fun. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I mean you have a you have a lot of stories and, and stuff like that. And obviously being with your mom is something that's that's really special. Um this being heard last year and, and you getting to go out on, on kind of such a you know high note for her, that's something that obviously you guys will have a bond for for the rest of your life. But um when you leave Northern, what what is something that you're gonna take away from coming back and you know, and coming to college here and and coming back to Aberdeen after, you know, going away. I mean, what what's really important to me here is the like the training that is done here. Um, it's what I grew up doing and it's perfect and I know Nicole is going to continue doing that program and even learn learning more herself to try and make the program um, thrive and get better. Um, it's and I mean, also, I love being able to do cross country and track here. So that's a big plus. And because I went to school in Arizona, I asked my swimming coach if I could run while I was there. But he told me no, because he just wanted me to focus on swimming. Um, so I'm really, really excited to race on the track again. <laughs> and, you know, Nor Northern State is, is a is an interesting college for for many people. I mean, when you when you go away or if you're from a, a big place coming to kind of a small centered community how has growing up here um, and then coming to northern and seeing the obviously the support that you get from the community and stuff like that it is pretty amazing and that's something that's special about northern state what what ha what is it about northern state that's kind of special for you just like growing up here I've always known my mom's swimmers like on the college team and have been so close to them and like never realized that I could be on the same team as them one day like I, I my when I was looking at schools my mom told me just to not look here like I needed to look somewhere else just to I mean to expand my horizons and learn more myself and um, so when I asked her if I could come back here, she was really super excited, and um, and it's been a great experience. And I love the support system that, like, the whole school has, like, supporting each other. And like at nationals, with track and also um, wrestling being there, it was awesome. Just to they were in the same facility, and everyone could cheer each other on, and not just through like the athletics that support each other, but the people around town. I mean, people I don't even know, like so supportive not only to me but like like everyone in like general like and it's awesome to see how supportive people are and now that i mean you're you're going to into your senior year right and and you guys have kind of taken a step forward in in the swimming program and stuff like that how has how has the program kind of changed since you've been back is it something that you know, your your mom has established, obviously, since she's been here, or is it something that, you know, the, the girls on the team now have kind of bought into, you know, this new type of program or anything like that? It's definitely changed over time. It's just gotten better and better, and I've been able to watch it grow, and it's been amazing just seeing the team get better and faster and 
just being even more committed, like all together. Um, and I've seen the practices change from what they used to be to being harder and taking more out of the swimmers. Like it, it takes commit a lot of commitment because it's hard work. Um, it's but yeah, it's been crazy to watch it grow from what it started at. And now that you're, you know, your your next goal is is obviously to to break some some more school records and you know set set some some higher standards for yourself but obviously is your is your ultimate goal would be to to swim for the olympic team is that mm -hmm. kind of what you're training for now and, and all of that i mean that's i mean that's some like your goals and dreams you have to always keep them like in your mind it's not like they're ever pushed behind when a new goal comes up like like an in-season goal it's always there and it's like what you're ultimately training for and is that something that you've you've always wanted to do, or is it something that you just kind of realized when you you got in college, and you're like, oh, you know, I might want to try and make the Olympic team, or is it something that you've had, you know, since since you've been growing up that the Olympics is your ultimate goal? I I mean, when I was younger, it wasn't really like I want to do. I wouldn't even like watch them on TV. Like I didn't know who the best 400 IMers were, which is my main stroke, and but I just kind of like pay attention more to like Michael Phelps and the the biggest people but never really did it hit me that like that could be me until I qualified for Olympic trials the first time I think I was 15 or 16 years old and yeah, I went out to California to um, junior nationals and and just being at the trials for the first time it just makes you like want it so much more because it's just like a huge stage and and I don't know, it's a crazy atmosphere. And, and being competitive, obviously that's that's the highest, you know, goal that you can set is being part of the, the US national team. Um, is that is that something that's like scary is is going to that stage and, and seeing all of these other people or is it something that you just are like I I absolutely love it because you're uh, you know, a competitive athlete and is it something that you know, when you walk up to, you know, your your meet is, you know, do you get that, like, anxiety or is it just <laughs> excitement? Like, what goes through your mind when you're about to, you know, ju jump into the pool? For me, I feel like I don't really ever get nervous that, op that often. It's more excitement and just, like, ready to race because I know the work I've put in throughout the season and throughout my whole life and – and I, I love to work hard and I love to race. And so I'm always just excited for it. And it's not scary being in front of like a big audience like that for me. It's just, I, I, I don't know. It's just, it's really cool because <laughs> it's awesome. And then, so like you said, your 400 is your, is your obviously one of your better uh, strokes that you do. Is, is that this year, are you trying to improve in, in a different area or... Um, is there, you know, what's your, what's your next goal for this upcoming season? I mean, I want to get better in everything, and I would like to swim some events that I usually don't um, more often. Uh, <laughs> but ultimately, like, doing, like, those other strokes that I don't do will help my medley even more just because it will help me train those. And, like, I practice that, uh, always training, like, all the strokes, trying to get better at um, all of them individually because it'll help that in the long run um, but uh, just like I mean I really want to get best times and not just by like a little bit but by a lot <laughs> well I think uh, that's all the time that we have for today thank you again for coming on and, and giving Thanks us a, you know an insight into who you are and, <laughs> and all of this uh, amazing things and congratulations on your year of swimming and uh, obviously we'll as a community and as a college, we'll be excited to watch you next year and see what you do. Thank you. So.